Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Guangzhou again and we are going to be shooting at Shane. I'm pretty excited. This is going to be Shane is shooting here in weeks. Now it is lunchtime. I'm about to have something to eat. And yeah, this week is a little cute. Don't mind it. Shooting weeks for the two days. They didn't even know they have hair. So this is quite interesting and lovely. I'm really enjoying shooting here, more relaxed, more chill. Yeah. No, it's okay! <laughs> Shooting. Apparently, I'm gonna be shooting until 9 p.m. I'm done. One who is still here. It's been a really long day. <sighs> so I just had dinner. It is now 8 10. Apparently, I'm gonna finish at 11. I can't do it. So many weeks. Here's another one. So we are here, it's day two of the week shooting. And yeah, oh child, you don't wanna know. Again, drama. Flight got canceled because there's a new COVID case here in Guangzhou. So there are no available flights from here going to Beijing. So I need to go to the neighboring city, which is Shenzhen, and get a flight from there. Right now it is lunchtime and this is the food they got me all and this food is trash like they had like peaches and um sweet potato and <laughs> there's a lot going on spaghetti eggs like it's a lot and um i'm just not impressed and also i'm feeling very sleepy uh, my eyes are very heavy i can barely keep my eyes open the pictures are coming out weird but today the hair, we are doing long hair, nice quality hair, um, not too bad. Yesterday we shot 11 wigs, I'm not sure how many we're going to shoot today as we are on crunch time as I need to rush to another city to catch my flight. So yeah, that's what's happening today. It's happening to me again. I'm here. They are denying me your Netflix has expired, requires Netflix to report time, departure time. Netflix is valid after 30. No, wait a minute, give, give me a moment. I will call and explain. Um, I don't know what they are saying because whatever they are saying doesn't make sense. So. Let's see what's gonna happen because I had already kind of checked in. They haven't given me the boarding pass yet. So <sighs> this can't be happening again. So at this point I had to call my agent to find out exactly what was happening because we were using the translator because they don't speak English and through the translator it wasn't making sense. Guys, it's happening again. I can't deal. I'm exhausted and I'm over everything for real. This is just tiring and wow, it's a lot. They are really refusing me. I'm just here at the counter, like chilling. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm starving. It's bad. Really bad. It's terrible here, guys. Story of my life right now. I'm just chilling here at Starbucks thinking about my life. I 
could catch a morning flight, but now the problem is where can I get a COVID done? A COVID test done now at 9 p.m. because apparently at this airport they don't do it. And no hospital, I think, gets it done at this time. So I'm just waiting for my agents to call me back and to tell me um, what's up, where I can do it and how that's gonna work. Hopefully I can. I already got this paper which I can use um, to get another flight tomorrow for free so I don't lose money because I was here on time and just so unfortunate. I wish I knew this earlier because then maybe during lunch I would have went to take the test. The results are probably would have been out by now. But I didn't know. I thought I was good. I thought I was safe. I thought I had 24 hours. But I guess not. I mean 48. I guess not. So yeah. Stay tuned to see what ha what happens because I'm honestly over everything right now. I don't even know how to feel, how to act, what to do. Like I'm just I'm just I'm enjoying my coffee. That time I'm starving. But it is what it is. So I'm heading to the hospital. They found me a 24-hour hospital that can do the COVID test and the next flight that I can catch is at 8 in the morning. So let's go to the hospital and get the test and I'm going to try looking for the hotel. I see there's a hotel right next to the airport. So I'm going to try looking for that, how much that is and then take it from there. So stay tuned guys. Wow, what an ordeal. I swear, this is terrible. Right, so 20 minutes later I finally arrive at the hospital guys it looks like a dead zone there's literally no one there but I was glad to find it and that it's open and that I could actually do the test and that it's gonna be ready in the morning just in time for me to catch the 8 o'clock flight so that was great literally that took two seconds no one here I'm done now I need to find a hotel Look at my bags, guys. Ooh, that's tough. Now I need to find a hotel nearby and head over there. See you guys soon. Bye. So I did decide to stay at the Hyde Regency Hotel, which is right at the airport. Uh, reason being, I did not want to have to do with traffic again because last week I missed my early flight because of traffic. I got stuck in traffic and couldn't make it in time. So today I was like, um, let me just get the hotel at the airport. Let me pay this price and you know, know that I'm safe and I do not even have to wake up super, super early because already the flight is at eight in the morning. So I had to be up at six, but if I lived far, so to be safe i had to be up like super early so at least i could squeeze in a few more uh, minutes of sleep because i was really exhausted at this point it was like maybe past midnight and i've really had a tough day so yeah i just wanted a good night's sleep and just relax so that tomorrow i can hopefully make it for my flight and not have to stress about missing a flight so this was the best decision that I've done for myself. And this hotel was absolutely amazing. I was on the last floor, which was, I think, the 12th floor. Absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed it, though the stay was super short, but it was definitely worth it. I mean, look at this. How cute is this room? Oh, when I saw the bathtub, I felt so relaxed room absolutely cute and i mean i'm 
within the airport like you can see the airplanes over there i'm like yeah within the reach so i was a bit more relaxed at this point and comfortable and i just wanted to you know call it a night hey guys right so finally at the hotel settled it's midnight past midnight i'm gonna run myself a bubble bath because that's exactly what i need i need a bath so that i can be nice and relaxed and wake up early in the morning just walk to my flight because this thing of traffic that's how i'm missing flights so i'm just gonna yeah i'm already at the airport so i'm gonna quickly run myself a bath and then like pass out set my alarm for six be out of here by 6 30. the flight is at eight so i can make it just in time and i bought myself some soju so that i know like it will knock me out for real like it's in my bag it will knock me out for real and i can have a nice good sleep so i'm gonna pour myself that and have it in the bath i know i'm gonna drink it with sprite i'm extra so yeah this is soju guys a korean drink this grape one is really nice really enjoy it so i'm gonna pour myself some of this and some sprite and relax a little bit in the bath and then fall asleep because wow what a day it's been i swear i cannot this guys i swear i'm gonna pass out i better hear my alarm but i'm not the type to sleep through an alarm so yeah that's what's up guys see you guys tomorrow morning good night right it is time to check out i'm checking out there's an express checkout box where you can just drop off your key you don't have to go all the way down to the reception to check out you can just drop it off there and because they know people are in a rush i'm literally walking to the check-in counter so from the hotel to the check-in counters like to the airport it took about like it was a 10 minute walk but the airport was kind of empty i mean but it was morning anyway so now here i'm here to redeem the flight using the paper they gave me yesterday since i missed yesterday's flight so now yeah i'm checking in for the eight o'clock flight uh, things are kind of looking good like they thoroughly checked my uh, results and everything names so nice, i finally got food. my boarding pass and i can't get too excited because last time last week i did get my boarding pass but i got turned at the immigration so i'll be more relaxed once i pass immigration and once i'm actually seated on the flight because wow guys actually this weekend i think i need a break like <laughs> I can't be doing this every week. It's starting to look ridiculous, I swear. And the queue is so long. So with me traveling every week, I've noticed that Beijing always has its own special uh, line, special counter where you check in for passengers going to Beijing because they have different sets of rules for people going to Beijing. I don't know, maybe because it's the capital or something but they require a lot of things for travelers going to beijing like they double check triple check your information your COVID test results like everything like that and i've seen people going to other cities they don't ask them anything like they just pass through you know but for beijing it's always tricky you always have to do a lot of stuff a lot of admin but i must say this airport is absolutely stunning like all these designer stores i was there like oh my god can't i just get an item at each of these stores 
but yeah absolutely amazing such a beautiful airport i mean out of all the airports i've been to recently this has to be the most busiest like most busy airport and i think generally people in shenzhen have money like they've got all these designer shops and yeah i was there like spouling every day spouling everything like can't i get a piece of this and a piece of that after all i deserve it after the weekend that i've had and for once i did not get starbucks i actually got something across starbucks i forgot the name of this uh cafe but anyway um i got myself some coffee as per usual you already know and i was kind of hungry at this point so i got myself a little croissant you know the things and i couldn't figure out if these burgers are real or not but i honestly don't think they were real but I, I was not sure i couldn't really tell but yeah got my order had to rush for check-in because yeah this airport is so big like my check-in gate was a bit far off and yeah there's this little cute mcdonald's with the mcdonald's guy like i haven't seen that in such a long time and the funny thing about mcdonald's here they don't have like um the things to play and then now it is time to check in thank god it's finally happening we move at this point i was feeling okay like okay it's gonna be a good day i'm gonna make it like it's okay it's fine don't worry and most definitely it was So I can finally relax <laughs> and be at peace. Finally, go back to Beijing. Oh, well, it's been an interesting weekend. It has been an interesting weekend. What a way to start my week. But anyway, thank God we're here and that I've made it. to sleep more. I'm gonna pass out this entire flight. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at bonnie.with.a.y and stay tuned for the next week's video. I'll be posting every week on Thursdays. So do stay tuned for the next time. See you guys when I land in Beijing. Bye. Um, yeah, I'm in Beijing now at the airport. Um, it is now 11.45. I need to be at school at 12.35. So, but I need to go home first. I might just miss one class. But not too bad it's gonna be a very long day because i'm supposed to start work at 11 30 and finish at um 8 30 so it's gonna be a very long day i've been up since six so wish me luck guys so now i'm going to catch a taxi i was hoping that there's not a long queue because these queues can be ridiculously long like you can stand in queue for an hour or more just to get a taxi but luckily maybe because it was morning there was no queue at all and i was just happy like things were starting to look good like i'm actually gonna make it so yeah from here we head on home it took about 10 minutes so i'm finally home it is now uh what time is it it is 12 15 i got 15 minutes to get to work i'm only gonna miss the first class yeah it started in yeah it started at 12 35 so i'm only gonna miss the first class with a couple of minutes thank god thank you guys for tuning in for staying with me uh, and going through <laughs> going through this journey with me i think most of you always were more stressful than i was because on instagram the dms are like oh my god what now and i was just so relaxed lately i've learned to not let things that i don't have control over to stress me out so every step of the way even last week i was super chilled like i cannot stress like i cannot it is what it is so thank you very much guys see you in my next vlog bye please don't forget to follow me on ig at bonnie.with.a.y 
All right, bye guys. Let me quickly change and get to work.